What's up? It's the TNT, y'all. Please subscribe to me with that notification bell if you want to see what I got in store now. If you haven't, please feel free to do it. And for the ones that already been did it, welcome back. This girl loves to share her raps and play ball with her mom and share other fun videos. Okay, here we go. And never ever stop, not even when you make it to the top. Yup, always do what you love. Okay, okay, let's see what this diva got for the rest of the day. Yeah. Now it's time to slay. What's up? Welcome back. What's up? What's up, YouTube? I decided to do the black girl tag first time ever. And it's over 80 questions, so I'm just going to pick some of the questions that I would like to answer. Okay, just getting started with this video. Let's get it. Yup. I'm making a part one and a part two to my black girl tag. So this is part one. Let's get started. Okay, the first question is, what is your favorite edge control? My favorite edge control is black castor oil. Yeah. Second question. You have to choose one from the following. Collard greens, cornbread, yams, or baked macaroni, and cheese. I'm rolling with cornbread. I love me some cornbread. Yeah. The third question, what is your hair type? Well, my hair is thick and it is black. Fourth question, name four hood black movies you love to watch. Hmm. Boys in the Hood, Friday, <laughs> next Friday, and, and Friday after next. They are so funny. They're funny movies. <laughs> the fifth question. How do you feel about interracial couples? Well, actually, I don't mind it at all. I'd rather see interracial couples because skin doesn't matter. I mean, in reality, we are all the same. So, yeah, I don't have a problem with that at all. Not one bit. Actually, I'd rather go date someone out of my own race. So, yeah. Just saying, I'm more into white boys than black boys. Black boys are a trip. And I just feel like white boys are friendlier, but all boys can be trips, but I just prefer white boys over black boys. I say people are entitled to date whoever they want to date, long as the person is treating them right, and I say it's okay. Next. This is the sixth question. Is there anything about your features that are considered more muscular because of your complexion? Well, I got really good skin, and I guess it's because, well, I know it's because me and my family have some strong genes. Yeah. So, yeah, I got really good skin, so that's why it's so shiny. And I have a beautiful personality. Next question that I chose to answer, because I'm not going to do all of them, just the ones that I'm interested in doing, and I don't want to make this really a really long video. So, the next question is, were you always confident in wearing your natural hair? Well, there's times that I've always wanted my hair to be longer, but I am proud of my hair, but like when I was younger, like I always wished that my hair was longer. And now I'm looking back, I'm glad that I have hair. <laughs> and my hair is not really that bad. I mean, it's thick, but it's not really that bad. There's a lot of people that have told me that I wish I had the hair you have. And I'm like, in my mind, really? <laughs> but yeah, I do wish my hair was longer. Yeah. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it, guys. On trying to get my hair longer. Yeah. Hello, don't know why I keep saying yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'll answer this question. What the highest and lowest amount you paid for braids or a weave? Well, when family's doing my hair, it's free. It's not that much at all. It's zero. 
Now, I'm not gonna lie that when I go to these regular stores, it is not cheap. It's not cheap at all. But the hairstyle comes out looking really nice. So, and it lasts for a long time. So, in my mind, I feel like it's worth it. My mom says that it's not worth it. But I paid, um, the highest I paid is <laughs> 180 <laughs> for um box braids i paid 180 and silver twist i paid 160 and then the other hairstyles was like 140 or under that so the highest was 180. next question how deep is it for you to let someone see you in your headscarf <laughs> wow really well i'm not ashamed I love wearing bandanas. Next question. Do you ever hear the phrase, is that your real hair? If so, when? Well, every time I get fake hair in my hair, people always assume that it's my real hair. Like, really can't tell that it's not my real hair, but it's actually funny, because I can fool a lot of people. Because when I have black weave in my hair, it actually does look like my real hair, but I can tell the difference. <laughs> Next question. What black celebrity do you look like? Well, when I was younger, I always thought that I looked like China and McLean a little bit. LOL, people have told me that I look like Cardi B's little sister. Like, what? <laughs> and they say I look like her. Like, what? I don't understand how I look like Cardi B. Next question. Have your weave ever fallen out? Um, yes, and me and my mom was pretty pissed off about it. Do you ever get told that you sound like a white girl? Yes, yes. I get told I sound like a white girl from my mom. Say, you act just like a white girl. <laughs> yes, but my mom says I talk like a black girl though. Next question. Who do you hate more, Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, or Taylor Swift? Well, I don't hate anyone, but like if I had a choice, like who I'm not too particularly a big fan of, fantasize about, I probably would say Miley Cyrus because she just went downhill. I mean, I used to watch her show Hannah Montana when I was younger, but now she's just, she just went downhill. Um, what else question? Next question. Do you typically have a good or bad time at the hairdresser and why? Well, the part that I don't like is when they tighten my hair up when they're braiding. Like, oh my gosh, I can't stand that. And I can't stand sitting in the chair for a whole bunch of hours. That's the part I can't stand. I'm not tender headed, but don't be braiding my hair real tight. So, Next time I go to the hair place, I'm gonna make sure they don't braid it tight and I'm gonna tell them that they're braiding it tight because we get headaches from getting our hairs braided tight. Like, they like to braid it tight, but this right here is not really tight. I know there's a way that you don't have to braid someone's hair really tight to make them have headaches. And yeah, that's basically the part I don't like when I have to sit in the chair real long because when I get out my butt hurts like I've been sitting in the chair for like 16 hours like no I'm not used to sitting that long because I'm always standing and moving and getting up yes oh my gosh <laughs> okay this video is long enough so I'm gonna answer the other questions on my part two one so stay tuned in for that and thank you so much for watching Peace, your girl in the TFT out. Yeah.